Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, good evening, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you guys, I thank you, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. So we're here doing a general reading for Aries. This is for the first two weeks of May, 2023. And you may see two videos for Aries because I'm going to go ahead and do the first two weeks and the last two weeks, okay? I'm trying to get caught up. I am so, 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 so behind. I mean, life has just been happening like really, really, really crazy with me, okay? So, guys, please, please just bear with me. Okay, what is the overall energies for Aries for the first two weeks of May 2023? Well, whenever you guys see the video, that's when you're supposed to see it. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'm going to put this down a little bit so you guys can see the cards. What do we have for Aries for overall energies for the first two weeks of May 2023? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Okay, you got three cards that, that, um, there's something you're grieving about. You have grieving at the bottom of the deck. And then you have the truth. This is you listening to your intuition. And you have boundaries. So you're protecting yourself. You're setting up boundaries. You probably have cut people off, probably blocked people. And then you have the strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, Aries. Hmm. You definitely have gotten control of your emotions. I'm seeing you guys have definitely gotten control of your emotions. You guys may hear dogs barking in the background. <laughs> Those are my kids' dogs um, babysitting. So if you hear dogs in the back, that's what it is. Yeah, check it. You know, this is you checking, you know, checking in with yourself, trusting your intuition. Because you probably think somebody's hiding something from you. This is you living and speaking your truth. Yeah. Give me some more overall energies for Aries for the first two weeks. May 2023. Give me some more of our energies for Aries. Okay, Aries, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're very stable right now. You're focused. Mm, the world card is at the bottom of the deck. This is completions. This is accomplishments, fulfillment. This is endings, new beginnings. But this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles. You, you know, you're, you're, you're getting yourself very grounded. You're focused. Could be an entrepreneur. Very down to earth type of individual. The death card, yeah, something has ended. And then you also had the grieving card. So 
if there is a literal, literally there is a death, my condolences, and you have the seven of pentacles. This is you investing, taking stock. This is, pay, you know, your hard work is paying off. Something here is going to lead to success for you. And then you have justice, legalities. This is truth, cause and effect, accountability. This is balance. And we have the seven of cups. This is confusion, choices, fantasies, opportunities, illusions surprises so you got options coming in here and you have the wheel of fortune something here is definitely going to go in your favor aries this is you know life cycles destiny good luck karma turning point movement positive change and definitely opportunities hmm wow Feels like you got a lot going on here. And you're holding on to some something. Could be holding on to your money, saving your money. And you're definitely holding back from people. Definitely holding back from people. I want to clarify a few of these and then I'm going to put down some more cards. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for Aries? Queen of Pentacles here for Aries, God Angels, and Sisters, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. You're waiting. You're waiting on your ships to come in. This is, you know, you you being very confident. You guys could be relocating. Definitely going to be receiving support. This is the Three of Wands. This is you getting the big picture. You know, you've invested in something here. Now you're waiting for your shifts to come in because you're very focused right now. Why is the death card here? The Knight of Swords. So you put it into some drama here. This is sudden action. This is, you know, quick aggressive. This is taking charge, fast thinking. But you're putting it in, into, into to some drama here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. We got water here, fire. We have all the elements here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aries? We have the lovers. So that you've been, you've, you've been making some big life changes here. This is, you know, decisions. This could be a union. This could be a partnership that you may be investing in or somebody is wanting to invest in you. This could be a choice between two. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Judgment. Yeah, you're making a judgment here. Mm -hmm. Could be a renewal. You've awakened to something here. Why is justice here? Somebody wants to balance something out with you. Yeah, justice, the eight of cups. Somebody here is definitely um, facing some karma here. I think your karma with someone here is you walking away from something. It's going to be your justice and someone's karma. Why is the seven of cups here? Somebody here had a lot of choices. Somebody here left their options open. The Ace of Cups. I see new love coming in here for you. Or this could be a reconciliation, guys. Mm -hmm. Somebody here wants to equally give to you now with the Six of Pentacles in the upright. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ooh, the Ten of Cups and the higher fat. So you, you've learned a lot of lessons, Aries. Somebody here is wanting a commitment 
This Ten of Cups, this is satisfaction. This is marriage, harmony, blessings, good fortune, success, happy family, security, stability. You could be seeking out advice from a higher learning individual, a, a, a spiritual, you could be getting spiritual counseling. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Wheel of Fortune, okay. The, the King of Cups came out. This is you wanting, you wanting to to offer love here. Someone's wanting to offer love to you. This is you, you're, you're, you're very mature, you're very intuitive. Very reliable. Why is the Queen of Cups? No, this is the King of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning here with you. Somebody, some, you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Somebody here is wanting to offer you something. This is coming in. This is something new coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody wants a new passionate beginning here with you. Why is the Ace of Wands with the King of Cups? Yeah, someone feels that you're on the same page with them. Something fell, which was, that's a weird play for you to fall. The Two of Cups. Someone feels that you are definitely on the same page with them. This is someone in your past. Y'all know we in retrograde. I'm not sure when it's ending, but it's here, okay? Retrograde is here. So you definitely have somebody trying to come back in. Maybe you are considering it. I don't know. But let's get a... What is... Give me the situation here. Give me the situation here for Aries. What is the situation? What is the situation? I see you definitely making positive changes here in your life. What is the situation? Okay, yeah, doing a lot of healing. The Four of Swords, you had to take a step back from a situation. Definitely doing a lot of healing. Getting yourself stable. Praying, meditating. You're definitely gonna have a lot of options. We got the Seven of Cups here again. And we have the Knight of Wands. Hmm, you know, this is not a stable night. The Knight of Wands, this person is in and out, confused, not knowing what they really want. Coming in very passionately, trying to get what they want and leaving pretty much. With the Chariot, you're moving on from this energy. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, you're definitely, this move. they're moving towards you, but no, yeah, somebody is definitely coming towards you very passionately. Ace of Wands again. And it's possibly going to have you in your head with the Eight of Swords. But you need to definitely listen to your intuition with this individual. Somebody's definitely rushing in. And you need to see things for what they really are. Whoever is coming towards you, you're very strong enough to do whatever it is that you need to do. You already have your boundaries up. You're very protected and you are protecting yourself. You know the truth because your intuition is on high, okay? You know the truth. You know what the truth is. Let's get some, let's clarify. Yeah, somebody's coming in. Somebody that's kind of still hurting. I definitely see new love for you guys. If I were you, I would wait. I would patient it, patiently wait on something new because it's coming in. Why is this four swords here? Four. Aries. Why is the four swords here? The four of wands. You're praying, you're meditating. You're manifesting stability here. The full wand. 
This is celebration, stability. Y'all could be seeing synchronic synchro synchronicities, 444, four, four. one, one, one. Why is this seven of cups here? Why is this seven of cups here? Seven of wands, I told you, you are protected and you are protecting yourself. You got boundaries and you got the seven of wands here. The boundaries, it's the same thing. You're setting up boundaries. You're no longer confused. You're no longer, you know, not knowing what it is that you want. You know what it is that you want and what you don't want. You're very strong right now. You're controlling your emotions. You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve at all. You're thinking very logical and very practical about situations. And that's definitely what's going to get you through. Why is this Knight of Wands? Or who is this Knight of Wands? The King of Swords. <laughs> I just said you're thinking very practical, very logical. You're cutting bullshit out. Whoever this person is trying to come in here and do whatever they're trying to do, you is not hearing it and you ain't trying to hear it. King of Swords, you're going to cut somebody off that's lying to you. It's going to come in lying to you. Why is the chariot here? The page of swords. You already done done your work on whoever this individual is. They're definitely stalking you, watching you. But you've done your work on whoever this person is. <laughs> you already know who it is. Coming in, trying to come in. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Aries? We have the three of wands waiting. Being patient with something, waiting on your, your shifts to come in. You're secretly doing this. You're not letting people know what you're doing either. You're keeping everything to yourself. The five of swords. You know somebody's a manipulator. You know somebody's trying to get one over on you, but it's not going to happen. You know somebody's trying to win at all costs. But you're walking away from something. You're definitely walking away from heartbreak. You de you're doing a lot of healing here, Aries. Why is the Eight of Swords here? This is not you not seeing things. This is somebody else that's feeling stuck. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Moon card. Somebody's not saying that they're stuck, but somebody here secretly is mentally stuck. Why is the Moon card here? Or somebody's trying to mentally you know, keep you stuck in a situation. But you already know you're the star card here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Like I said, all the elements are here on the table. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to heal something here. But guess what? Somebody secretly wants to keep you mentally stuck on them. Yeah, somebody's coming in to try to manipulate you, but it's not going to work. Because you're being, you're protected and you are, and you're protecting yourself. So... Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Aries? Four of Cups. You're kind of bored right now. You're waiting on, on this new beginning. And it's coming in. You could be dealing with somebody that's very boring right now. You know, you want some excitement. And it's coming in for you, so be patient. Look, you got the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Something is definitely about to change for you. For the good. For the good, this is happiness, this is healing, this is being abundant, uh, prospering. Yeah, you got somebody coming in slowly but surely. Could be <laughs> there's somebody that 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 thinks you're very attractive. Like I said, somebody is is watching you, and then you got somebody that that's. You know, and that devil energy feels very bound to you, wants to come in, be intimate, but you're not on that page. You're definitely not on that page anymore. You're just not. Give me some. <sighs> what is the outcome here? What is the outcome here for Aries? What is the outcome here for Aries, God, Angels, Ancestors? 
Holy Spirit. What is the outcome? Ooh. We have oath. Give me one more card for Aries, God Angels. Ancestors, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. One more card. Ooh, that one popped out. Ooh, High Priestess of Water. Your intuition is so on fleet, Aries. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what that um the high priestess of the water and see what I say see, see what I mean here somebody here is feeling trapped your intuition is so whoo off the chain so let's see give me some I'm gonna give you a little information on these cards I just got these are some new cards so. I'm getting myself familiar with them. So, oh, this is, mm, you have chosen the symbol. This says, if you have chosen the symbol for oath, this is the symbol for all promises and is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. <clears throat> so whatever boundaries you have put down, Stick to those. Stick to your boundaries, okay? Stick to your boundaries. And summon. So this summon right here, this also has a lot to do with your healing now is the time to pray, to meditate, to acknowledge the sacred in every experience, okay? Don't take your, your next step lightly. You have the power to summon your spirit, summon your, your courage, and summon even me. This is your divine, I mean, your higher power, your angels, your ancestors, your Holy Spirit, God, whoever you pray to, you have the power to bring them in towards you, to summon them to you, okay? You are inquiring about something important. Breathe and wait for a sign before you act. Choose another card if you need more understanding of my wisdom for you. And the next card that came out was, which was at the bottom of the deck, is the High Priestess of Water, okay? The High Priestess of Water which means your intuition is on high. In everything that you're wanting, whatever you're seeking is already within you, okay? The high priestess of water is a very intuitive. That's the ace of cups. That is the ace of cups. Your third eye is definitely open. Look at this card very closely. Look at her. She know what it is, okay? She already knows everything that you're seeking is already within you. But let's get some information on um, the High Priestess of Water. It is to remind you that all things change like the powerful elements she represents. Okay, let's see here. Water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice, and disappears as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white, fluffy clouds, the rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your very eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes as the moment, you will later. Okay? Wow. Okay, give me some advice. Let me get you guys some advice. Give me some advice for Aries. Clarity. You're going to get the clarity. This is the Ace of Swords, okay? And empowerment. You're very strong, very strong individual. And you're definitely manifesting the things that you want. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.